and here is the visual record of our trip to Africa. Uh, as you can see, people there really do live in uh, you know mud huts with uh, thatched roofs, just like in the movies, and they really do carry things on their heads, sometimes quite large things. Uh, look at this lady here, and uh, ooh, she seems to be doing some sort of crane pose. Uh, no, she's not. She's getting a stone out of a shoe. Uh, hey, how can you get a stone stuck in a flip-flop? Mm, never mind. Um, here is uh, the, uh, the main city of uh, Uganda, which is uh, Kampala. So, uh, not everybody lives in mud huts. You can see here we have uh, a variety of different types of dwelling. Uh, meanwhile, the, the families from, uh, from Hong Kong were all extremely excited by this visit, uh, as you can see, and um, all immediately went to sleep. But let's be generous because um, we're talking about people who are a thousand miles away from the nearest uh, Starbucks or, or 7-Eleven. So no, no, no caffeine or uh, no, no Coca-Cola uh, for this particular crew for quite a while. They did wake up though when we got to the building site. Here we were, we were doing voluntary work and our first job was to, uh, to build a classroom. These bricks had to be moved from uh, where they'd been dumped to uh, the actual place where we were building the, the classrooms. And um, they weighed uh, you know, a good uh, 20 pounds each, that's nine kilos. Um, but um, it was hard work at first, but it got easier and faster. You know, that's kind of a principle in life, isn't it, really? Everything really gets easier um, uh, as, as, you, as you do it more and more. So uh, we managed somehow to move several tons of bricks and uh, eventually we got to, to a position where we were ready to start the actual building process. Uh, and that did take a bit more skill. Now here's, uh, here's young Nathan uh, showing us how it's done and some of the girls here. Um, it's actually quite uh, a skilled job but uh, we soon picked it up and uh, in fact several members of the group are planning to, uh, to build their own homes, hotels uh, and such like uh, using the skills they, they picked up uh, on, on this uh, particular trip. It was exhaustive work though and we did uh, have to have lots of rests but eventually the classroom did actually appear here it is taking shape and hey presto one classroom we decided to reward the kids by taking them uh, on the nile for a trip uh, on, on the on the boat we did see uh, crocodiles and hippopotami and that sort of thing but to me the most interesting thing is not not the animals but uh, this weird tree they call it the sausage tree and um uh, it looks like somebody has hung something on this tree but in fact it's natural this is how it grows and nobody's actually interfered with it then we decided we have to go and see some animals how can you go to africa and not see animals so uh, we stuck the kids up on the, the roof rack of the cars and off we went to uh, see if we could see an animals well uh, fortunately we did see some animals um, and uh, they seemed quite friendly so we even let the kids actually get off the cars and go and photograph them and um, nobody got eaten well, I don't think I'll have a count but I don't think I think they all came back uh, safely um, Actually, the most dangerous animal we saw was in the lodge. Uh, this creature followed me to the toilet, which was rather worrying. The girls sensibly kept a, a wide berth uh, of it, but um, I thought it actually looked rather rather attractive. This is a, some sort of strange lizard uh, with many colours. It had uh, orange and black and grey and, and pink, uh, and uh, it's rather beautiful, although quite possibly um, poisonous and uh, maybe even deadly. But uh, anyway, there it is, cute lizard. Um, and uh, that's the story of our, of our trip uh, to Africa uh, this summer. Oh, one last thing. Every night, uh, a big ugly monster appeared and grabbed the sun. Much more interesting than just a boring old sunset, don't you think? Mm -hmm.